Just tell them all the good shit. I don't like not seeing you. This sucks. I'm going to have to flash back and forth. Well, it's totally up to there you. There we go. Whatever. I'm just going to flash back and forth while we do intro I'm just drinking my so face I... off. I'm just go, 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 go. <laughs> so we yeah we're just babbling we've hit the 21 mark so let's get her done mm -hmm. we'll, we'll do these but we're friday we're not saturday it's friday it's good we can still do more tomorrow oh my god <laughs> no my days are starting to you know whatever but are you um, melding together so melding together and that's what yeah. happens when you day drink and work just kidding i don't do that yeah no, wow. never. I do. Never. Well, yeah, but no. you work, you, you're you self-employed. That's the difference, right? So. Oh, my husband is talking now. Oh. Did you hear him? Hi, Farron. Oh, he's running away. Uh-oh. Bye, Farron. I tried to show you. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> so. Okay, well, I guess here we are. Uh, This is Jess. Mm -hmm. And Cher. And Cher. And Cher. you're back with us to Giving Up the Ghost. Yay. Yay. Can't do my song. Get some. We're not in the pod lounge. I'm sad. Or the cave. Or the cellar. Or the, no, this is very sad. This is not very well. At least we can do it this way. You know, we. I know. We used to do. It's funny. We used to do this in a pinch, and now it's reversed itself somehow. Right. So but yeah, this is this is like the norm. <laughs> this is the norm. The pinch. Oh God. That sucks. There is nothing. I don't want to be the norm. There is nothing, nothing normal about this. So no, if you're no. if you're joining us, you are self isolating because you should be staying the fuck home. Hashtag yeah. stay the fuck home. Hashtag. But welcome. Hashtag, never mind. Get the fuck out of my house. No, get the fuck in your house. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it used to be. <laughs> what did they say? It's uh, you don't have to go home, but you can't stay here at closing time. You ever hear? Oh, that? well, my closing time is here. So well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it's five o'clock somewhere. So cheers. It is. Wait. Yeah. Clink. Cheers. Oh, here. Clink. clink in the distance. Clink. There we on go. Both mics there. We're FaceTiming. I guess this is video messaging on Facebook. It's a good app. We like mm -hmm. it. Cher sounds like she's right here, sort of in a bit of a tin can, kind but of. she's kind yeah. of here. Yeah, so. I know. I can't. I'm not in a tin can. I promise. Yeah, but we do honestly. I'm like get in the can, but yeah. get in the can. Be a can. In the can. Shit in a can. At least I can wander around with my tablet, though. There you go. That's nice. Yeah. Good I, for you. I promise not to pee while we're recording. Good for you. <laughs> Just wash your hands. Wash your hands and wash your hands. And wash your hands. I'm so obnoxious. If people come in from outside here, um, before they even, like, get upstairs, I'm like, yeah, you go wash your hands. I wash know. Wash your hands. Isn't it terrible? You see those pictures of people clean. with the memes with the chicken feet? It's like, this is yeah. what my hands look like. <laughs> Pretty much. It's serious, though, eh? Rub the skin off. My hands like feel dirty all the time now, I know. and I'm not even doing anything. Just even the thought, I'm thinking, oh my god, I gotta wash my hands. I'm gonna be one of those people now. Yeah. Oh, I the saw OCD and no, 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 it's CDO. Get it? Oh, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I saw a good meme the other day, and it said it said something to the fact I've washed my hands so much, I think I've actually found a bar stamp from 25 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> yeah no shit <laughs> oh i'd have a number of those i think <laughs> yeah it's like oh my god what is that oh my god where was i oh shit yeah evidence lots of evidence so no. yeah thank you for coming back we hope that everybody is safe safe yes. with your loved ones and we'll all get through this i swear to god we will just be strong some stay point safe. it will be done you know what this is the new norm and just this is nothing this is a cakewalk like at least you're in your homes like i mean oh hell worse, yeah you know not to get all yeah. political and talking about like all these you know all these prisoners of war <clears throat> and you know all this shit I oh no that. but i mean about all that but seriously stuff, that will make me crazy yeah right there safe at home yeah you know like that's cool whatever and yeah in, in i mean that, as long as you're home and everyone's safe and healthy hey shit man right who cares yeah. Yeah, you know, put on your pod thingy and give us a little listen and enjoy yourself. Yeah, have a drink, have a, have yeah. a cocktail, your poison, yeah. whatever. Listen to us, lots of good podcasts out there, but we're the best. Um, yeah, we are the best. We are number one. No, we're not yet, but um, <laughs> can I can I do the proud brag moment? So we we've had a couple mm -hmm. couple of really pivotal things, right? As of this is a new newsflash to share. As of twenty minutes ago, share. We are 75 down, downloads away from 7,000. Holy shit. Holy shit. See, this is what happens when people are in, like, locked up in their home. We get a lot of listens. 
or no, they just have to continue listening, which is awesome. I would, and we had a shitload load of likes too, didn't we? We did, yes. I, would, I know. I would prefer to think that they chose us because they have good taste, but you know, they love us. I know love, that's right. Love but us. seriously, if you're see, look at what do they want to do when they're locked up at home? They want to listen to our lovely voices. Lovely. Chalk. <laughs> <laughs> our like lovely nails voices. On a, nails on a board. Chalkboard. And also another thing I just wanted to mention, like we're from Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada, because we're very mm-hmm. proud local Winnipeggers. Uh, and we say, you know, support local, not just our local, but wherever you are, support local. These poor little guys, man. I tell you these, these. Oh, yeah. Oh, these business. Break the whole, the whole world is. I know. Collapsing. Stressed out about everything. Yeah, so. All these little business owners and stuff. But again, from Winnipeg, Manitoba. And in saying that. We have a local website and a Facebook page for a group of people, wonderful group called Save Money in Winnipeg dot com and their blogger oh, yeah. was kind enough to mention us. I know, yeah, that was awesome. That was pretty awesome because That was very awesome. She she had a nice intro and she said, you know, like check out some of these I've I've looked for the best, she said. I think that's how she put it. I've looked for the best and I found some of the best podcasts out there to listen and kill time with. Whether you're washing dishes, taking a bath, she said, uh, keeping in mind they're yeah. not ch- children friendly. Like, don't listen with little kids around. And we mm-hmm. never purported that. Oh yeah, no, 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 mm-hmm. no. By God, no. And, no, no, um, no, no. Please don't. I can only afford so much <laughs> therapy for my own children. I don't want to pay for therapy for your children. Um, <laughs> anyway, well, I'll pay for your child anyway. Sure, but yeah, no. She and then she she listed us at the top. And she put us ahead of like really big heavy hitters like LeVar Burton's reading. I know. She put us ahead of Lore, and which she is also, huge. Didn't, I'm sorry, I'm going to cut you off, no. but didn't she actually say that people had suggested us as well? Yes. I know. From, from her That's Facebook suggestions. Freaking awesome. Fucking A. And not only yeah. that, I and I, I was going to look up her name. I totally forgot. I'll have to. Kudos to Mystery Lady at SaveMoneyInWinnipeg.com. Yes. And she Kudos, even put us Mr. ahead Lady. of. She, okay, so for you people out there, we're not trying to impress anybody, but I used to be a big, uh, my favorite murder fan, and I still am, I just haven't had time. She put us atop of them. Those are the girls Yay. that sell seats for like 300 bucks a pop in these arenas and Yay. shit. Holy. I'm not going to arena. No, I, no, I'm not leaving the pod lounge here. No. <laughs> anyway, so with all that being said, we're here today. We've got a couple of ramble sods we're going to pump out for you. Um, yeah, because it's kind of hard to do our little shits and giggles together when it's something serious. I know. We've been doing I know. we've been doing some house uh, some house searches for some people. Somebody kind of st- <laughs> gave us a bum rap there. They gave us an address for a house, but it looks like it's because it's something they wanted to buy. And here we thought they they lived. I in know. It. Fuck. Shit. So no, no, you go find your own research, no. honey. I'm sorry, we don't do that. No, we you do... can find out if someone's buried in the backyard. That's right. Bum, go bum, take bum. a shovel and you start digging. You go find what you need <laughs> to find. But I mean, we want to do house research because it's very timely. We're there's no money in podcasting, so nope. we do this at our own leisure, at our own time, in between everything else. So um, you have to appreciate that. So don't don't look for freebies. So if you just jazz, so she does all that hard shit. And that sure helps too. I do the little shit. She does the little shit chef. Shit show. I'm a little shit. I'm a, little, a shit chef. God, no, don't shit say chef. that. Ooh. But no, but it's just in saying that, like honestly, nothing but good intentions that we want to help people. If you're finding something mm-hmm. distressing you in your house that's not legit or not norm and you want to know what's been going on or what happened because you're living in the situation, those are the people that we want to help with our research. Correct? Oh, for sure, absolutely. Correct a Monday. I freaking use the word absolutely. Oh, my God. I'm starting again. Basically, you did. So, anyway. Basically and absolutely. Basically. And, um, oh, and just just to touch base again before we get into tonight's topic, I guess we're going to do first human spontaneous combustion, right? Mm-hmm. Because we're hot chicks. Hot. Not hot. hot flashing. <laughs> hot. No, I'm hot flashing. Actually, I'm, I'm, I'm done that now again. See, there you go. It's See, leveling. It'll resurface. Just I wait. Know. Give it time. Lovely. Yeah, I know. Sorry. That's okay. But, yeah, so we're going to do uh, human spontaneous combustion, which is a really, really cool okay. topic. I'm um, going to pop out of you now. Who? Tell me if I'm still here when I pop out of this. Oh, okay. Out of the frame? Thing. Yeah, yeah. Go for it. Are you there? Oof. Poof. Yeah, you're Are still you there. Are you there? Can you hear me now? Can, can you hear me, me now? now? I can hear you now. 
and it's yeah uh, okay cool it's a friday night it's not a saturday night so it's a good friday it's a good friday oh my god it's we're blasting good... this oh well what are we what do we call thursday thursdays saturday nights right for podcasting freeloader friday no <laughs> after the house information i found yeah freeloader friday um <laughs> i don't know fighting frightful fridays how about that mm. frightful fridays there we mm. go okay Frightful Fridays. Fiery Fridays, considering Fiery Fridays. it's spontaneous oh, human you're combustion. So good. Yes. Bravo. Bravo. I should do like Yay. the. Where's my. Here we go. Like. There we go. Oh, ding, 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 ding. I feel like I'm at a Ukrainian wedding. Go kiss your kiss husband now. Kiss the bride. We're singing a song with love in it. Love. Love. Exciting oh my God. and new. There we go. There's our love boat. Freaking theme love again. boat again. I don't what know. the hell? I don't know. The music would... is going to have to be part of our theme song uh, at some point, I guess. Change the words somehow, right? Yeah. Oh, and then hopefully by yeah. this weekend, um, for all you folks, follow us on Facebook. We're going to I'll post a picture of the map. We went and got a map, and we're going to pinpoint from where all everybody is that's been listening to us. So we know who you Which are. Which is pretty freaking cool. Pretty fucking cool. Fucking Fridays. Like, <laughs> fucking friday coolness like oh, holy shit that's really awesome that's, though really it's pretty amazing yeah it is so but yeah so we'll um we'll talk about spontaneous hu- human spontaneous combustion Com- combustion hot blooded i've felt like that before i felt like it should i tell you like it just whew, like it just for for the guys would have no clue out there the women that are in our age bracket would definitely know it it's like it feels like a little fire and it just kind of explodes across your whole body right Would that yep. be, you know, oh yeah like, hell yeah like that done so burnt I up can, I sorry can relate. i'm yeah. done yeah. Get, the, get the fire extinguisher i can't oh yeah there ain't nothing to help on that shit no not at all so do you want to go first or should i go first uh i can go first i don't you, care it don't matter to me i have um, you take the floor i'm at anomalyinfo.com excellent and I don't know if this is the first one ever, but it says, uh, it starts off with the mysterious fires. It says on July 2nd, 1951, mm. the remains of 67 year old Mary Reeser, Reeser, I guess, mm. okay. were discovered in her St. Petersburg, Florida apartment, and a strange sight it was. Mm. It said Mrs. Reeser had apparently died due to an extremely localized fire. Only she and her chair, she Ooh. was last seen sitting in, had been consumed. So the heat from the fire had caused other damage in the one-room apartment. Of the chair, only charred coil springs remained yeah. of Miss Reeser. There was little more. Her 170 pounds had been reduced to less than 10 pounds of charred material. Like, holy shit, that's pretty intense friggin' heat right uh, there, isn't it? It's, that's this brutal. is a famous picture. You know what? The yeah, one with the only lake, her left shoe? foot remained? You've yeah, seen yeah. this picture, right? Yeah, we've all seen it. I know. That. Still wearing a slipper and burnt off nearly at the ankle. Otherwise undamaged, a lump of vertebrae was mm-hmm. also found, and stranger still, a small object, <clears throat> which was later declared by the coroner to be her shrunken skull. Ew. I know. Ooh, that's not good. Like, like frig. Shit. I remember. It goes on to say that, like, for, sorry, it goes on to say that you it's need, good. like, temperatures of, like, 2,500 degrees. Wow. For that kind of but to be, carnage, basically, but right? But to be that localized that it's not going to contaminate and ignite anything else, that's kind of bizarre. For right? 2,500 freaking right. degrees? Like, that doesn't make sense to me. I've seen some shit on this where they tried to recreate this, and like, you know, like Mythbusters or whatever, you know? Yeah, yeah. Where they try and do this. Mm-hmm. But, I mean, like, holy crap, that's like, that's like freaking crematorium, like. Totally temperatures how the hell does that happen in real life i remember i seen this on um when i was a kid like probably one of the f- first shows that just kind of got me fascinated with this weird shit right um do you remember mm-hmm. the show that's incredible 